Hello, I'm back. I have, well, I was about half an hour out in my timing, so it's um, just after seven o'clock here in New Zealand. So I finished with the bride, and it does change tact. I'm nearly finished this word. And um, I just want to remind you, don't be stupid. Only Satan thinks you're that stupid. Your slipper is you are in the flesh and you don't understand the things of the spirit. So if you are frightened off by some red flag that gets on YouTube and says, I'm the bride of Christ, God has a problem with that. The spiritual man discerns all things and judges all things. And it's the word is anacrino. He turns it up, turns up, anacrino. <clears throat> it might be interesting to compare me to Tornado Thale, Thiel or something. <clears throat> She's a movie, some type of, um, I don't know, I've, I'd never seen, I don't want to. I'd never seen what she did before. But she may be a born-again believer. I don't know. The Lord has not shown me either way. <clears throat> Only that she's not the bride of Christ. She's not the bride of Christ, but she says, I'm the bride of Christ. And so do I. But the bride is not... One bride. How stupid is that? Next part of this word. The Lord says, I have all the ones. Oh. That's so flipped. That's so flipped. He does, he says this, he says, but I'm saying it. I have all the ones the Lord has given me as the bride <clears throat> to carry on my wings as an eagle carries her young before they fly. And this is a real thing. Just like twins, a woman can conceive two babies to two men. That's our Eve. That's what our Eve did. The Lord shown me eagle, an eagle unfeathering its nest, dropping, pushing its prey out, making it uncomfortable, not prey, it's babies, making it uncomfortable. The eaglets, and then diving down and packing them up on, on the back. And it's a thing, it's a real thing. It's hard to, hard to record, but it's documented in history. So, And I know it's true because I know. Because God knows everything and he showed me it was true. And that's what I am. That's part of what the Lord has called me to as bride. So I'm carrying these people. Now, I know who they are. So listen up. I'm not going to go into detail, but their family, their spouses. They are spouses that want divorces. <clears throat> or they are spouses that haven't even decided to marry members of my family. They are unsaved and they are lukewarm. They are also pastors. The rest of them are pastors and prophets, I suppose, are people in standing in the church. And I will shock you. One of them is a homosexual. He was a pastor. He left his congregation, his family and his children. Now he's now happy, he thinks. <sighs> I was warned that something was up in their church when I was going there. And I, my heart beat fast. And this is the first ever real word I'd ever bought. It is. It's actually the first, one of the first words. 
<clears throat> and I didn't bring very many more. Not to the church. Direct. So I saw three ghouls like a skeleton, like the living dead, and they were in the church reception, the actual church where this pastor was pastoring. So I told him about that and that <clears throat> I saw that one of the coffins that they were in, there was three coffins, one of them was actually crawling out. It was, there was a fair warning of what was going to go about, what was going to happen. He got fair warning. He didn't pray about it. The bride was sent to warn him and he didn't pray about it. He was sent strong delusion. He was given over to a reprobate mind. So I'm thinking the bride is the bride is the saved, the bride is the unsaved. The bride is the cold, the bride is the lukewarm, the bride is the pastors and some prophets, and it also is people who are in the church that are under strong delusion or being handed over to reprobate minds. So it could be anyone. But you're wrong. They are not anyone. They are the bride. This is not a random thing. It's intentional. It's all intentional. So that no one will boast. I get to go to hang out on this island. But I'm not going to be on my own. Now that would be too mean. God has shown me in a dream. how it will be no one likes to go somewhere without someone close to go with it's weird meeting new people and Jesus sent his disciples out in pairs so that's why I know now this morning I know but I'd had a dream and I saw it, but he's reminding me, and now I know, that I'm not alone. I'm with my son, Joshua. Now, he's unsaved. He's impatient. And he's got plans for this weekend. But he's a good boy. <laughs> and then the rest arrive. Why not? My natural husband. Why is he not there by my side? <coughs> Why not him? I mean, at least he's saved. He has dreams and words from God. Wouldn't you think it would be him? Be much easier to wake up someone that's just lukewarm than it would be a complete unbeliever. And this unbeliever is from this very youngest generation. I beg your pardon? Huh. Where have you been? Unbelievers are much more pleasant. Now, that's just what he planned. I see the wisdom in it. I trust Jesus. So there you go. If you're the bride, God takes you with a friend so that you know someone. Isn't he so sweet?